Hey guys, today we're going to look at some very advanced machine antics from ancient history that will blow your mind. One of the most famous and mysterious structures in the world is the Great Pyramid of Giza. Built around 2560 BC as a tomb for the Egyptian pharaoh Khufu, it's the oldest and largest of the three pyramids at Giza and the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world still in existence. The pyramid was constructed over a period of 20 to 30 years, using an estimated 2 million stone blocks, each weighing around 2.5 tons. But how did the ancient Egyptians move these massive stones without modern tools or technology? According to a new study, they may have used a system of rollers and levers to do the job. Researchers believe that the stones were first placed on a bed of clay, then rolled into position using logs as rollers. To move the stones horizontally, the Egyptians would have used a system of levers. By placing long wooden levers under the stones and using brute force, they would have been able to move them from side to side. This may seem like a brutal and slow process, but it would have been the only way to move such large stones without causing them to crack or break. The researchers believe that this method would have taken around 1,500 workers about two weeks to move one stone. While this is a lot of manpower, it was likely worth it to the Egyptians who prized their massive pyramids as symbols of their power and wealth. The next item we will discuss are the marble slabs found in Baalbek, Lebanon. These are some of the largest pieces of marble ever found and weigh up to 800 tons. They date back to the time of the Roman Empire and were likely used in the construction of a temple to Jupiter. But how did the Romans move these massive slabs of marble? According to some scholars, they may have used a system of ramps and rollers to move them into place. Others believe that the marble was quarried near the site where it was found and moved using a system of levers and pulleys. Whatever the case, it's clear that the ancient builders of Baalbek were incredibly skilled engineers and mathematicians. The Antikythera mechanism is perhaps the most famous piece of ancient technology. It's an ancient Greek device dating back to around 200 BC and is considered to be the world's first computer. The mechanism was found in a shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera and consists of a series of gears and dials that were used to calculate astronomical positions and predict eclipses. But how did the ancient Greeks invent such a complex device? According to historians, the Antikythera mechanism was likely created by a group of Greek scientists and engineers who were interested in astronomy and mathematics. They may have been inspired by the Ptolemaic system of astronomy, which was widely accepted at the time and used a complex model of the universe to explain astronomical phenomena. The Antikythera mechanism is truly a testament to the ingenuity and intelligence of the ancient Greeks, and it continues to baffle scientists and historians today. Next, we will talk about the Baghdad battery. This is a collection of clay jars and copper tubes discovered in Iraq in the 1930s. It dates back to around the year 500 and consists of a jar with a copper cylinder inside. When archaeologists found the site, they also discovered several other artifacts, including coins, jewelry, and glassware, suggesting that the battery was part of a larger settlement. But how did the ancient Mesopotamians use this device? According to some scholars, it could have been used for electroplating or for producing a small amount of electricity. However, there is no evidence that the ancient Mesopotamians had any advanced understanding of electricity. It's more likely that the Baghdad battery was simply a storage vessel for water or other liquids. While it may not be the mysterious device some people hope for, it's still an intriguing artifact from ancient history. We will wrap things up with the Stonehenge. This is a prehistoric monument located in Wiltshire, England. It was constructed around 3000 BC and consists of a circular arrangement of large standing stones. But how did the ancient builders of Stonehenge move these massive stones and set them in place? According to some scholars, they may have used a system of wooden rollers and sledges to transport the stones. Others believe that the stones were quarried near the site where they were found and moved using a system of levers and ramps. Whatever the case, it's clear that the builders of Stonehenge were incredibly skilled engineers and mathematicians. Those are some of the most amazing and mysterious pieces of ancient technology. From the pyramids of Egypt, 
to the standing stones of England, the ancient builders of these structures were incredibly advanced for their time. And while we may never know exactly how they accomplished such amazing feats, we can marvel at their ingenuity and intelligence. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Also, please feel free to share any thoughts you have as I always love getting to read your comments. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.